old footage capturing the lives of Vietnamese refugees has recently gone up on the Internet. They fled their war-torn homeland and started new lives at a camp in the U.S. four decades ago. Now some of them are reflecting on their long journey. NHK Rose Sandra Barron reports. This is how life was in one of the largest refugee camps in the U.S. 40 years ago. Camp Pendleton in Southern California hosted over 50,000 people, mainly from Vietnam. Andre Nguyen filmed the camp in 1975. He was studying art in college. When he heard that the Vietnam War was over, he borrowed a 16 millimeter camera and rushed to the camp. I uh, wanted to capture and film all the refugees that are coming out. And so I decided to go to Camp Pendleton and videotape and film and interview as much as possible uh, all the refugees there. Each tent held four families. People cooked in large communal kitchens. They made clothes on shared sewing machines. Children played together. Andre decided to put these images on YouTube to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the end of the war. He hoped that his film might reach some former refugees. And it did. For one, Rick Nguyen in Houston, Texas. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, right there. Yeah. That's me, you know. So that that was that was kind of neat to, to kind of neat to see. I had to play like twenty or thirty times. Rick was seven years old. He remembers being at the camp was a relief after living so long in the chaos of war. Rick's father had been a South Vietnamese Air Force pilot. He eventually got a job working on a ranch in Washington State. Rick studied hard and became a dentist. He feels that his life in America has been successful. But the old images of the camp reminded him of something he always felt was missing. He contacted Andre. So you were, you were there on April 30th still? We left right on the, the day before it fell. So we left on the 29th, on the morning of the 29th. Even after 40 years, for Rick, in some ways, Vietnam is still his home. You not only lose, you not only lose a country, but, you know, you lose a part of yourself. I can't say that, you know, there's been any regrets or anything like that. But sometimes when you think back, you know, you think like, you know, what could have been? So Rick decided to go back to Vietnam this summer to pick up pieces of himself that he felt he'd left behind. He brought his three children with him to show them their roots. Yeah, this was from the now Andre is interviewing former refugees, asking where they were when Saigon fell. He wants to add the interviews to the old footage to produce a documentary. I want to have this so our children eventually can learn what happened that day. We could live in peace, could learn from that history to, so we can forgive and to live as a human being. Once it's done, Andre Nguyen plans to donate the documentary to a museum in San Jose. Sandra Barron, NHK World. California.